Hi, in this video we are going to talk about autocatalytic reactions. Autocatalytic reactions as the name suggests is simply where the reaction products act as catalysts. Okay, the reaction products will act as catalyst. Uh, if you want to consider a general form, it will be like A plus R gives R plus R. Okay, so it's R is a catalyst as well as it is a product. Uh, basic examples of these kind of process in real world applications. One is uh, uh, it's a biochemical uh, reaction uh, binding of hemoglobin with oxygen hemoglobin with oxygen as soon as hemoglobin binds with one molecule uh, and then it, it occurs like a chain reaction there is more affinity towards binding okay so that is one of the autocatalytic reactions. Another uh, biochemical reaction which is autocatalytic is uh, photosynthesis. This is a very popular example of autocatalytic reactions. So photosynthesis is catalyzed uh, and it produces ribulose 5-phosphate. This is both a product and a catalyst okay in industry you will see uh, hydrolysis of ester uh, it's caused by one acid catalyzed catalyst okay so we call it acid catalyzed hydrolysis of ester this is done to obtain carboxylic acids so this is another example of autocatalytic reactions. Now the question at hand is how do we study its kinetics? So if this is the uh, stoichiometric equation, the rate equation with respect to A can be written as minus Ra equals to minus dCa dt equals to K into Ca into Cr. Okay. Now, uh, the total number of moles of A and R remain unchanged because A is consumed, okay. And if we say C0 equals to Ca plus Cr, this remains the same as Ca0 plus Cr0, okay. This remains constant. Therefore, we can write the rate equation as minus Ra equals to minus dCa dt equals to K Ca into C0 minus Ca. Okay. Now, if you rearrange this and uh, use partial fractions to separate the terms and then integrate, the final integrated form will be ln of ca0 into c0 minus ca by ca into c0 minus ca0 which is equal to ln of cr by cr0 whole by ca by ca0 equals to c0 kt which again can be written as Ca0 plus Cr0 whole into Kt, okay. Now, uh, this is the integrated form and if you want to write in terms of initial reactant ratio and uh, fractional conversion of A, that is Xa, so if m is considered the initial reactant ratio and fractional conversion of a is considered then you can write ln of 
एम प्लस एक्स ए बम इंटू वन माइनस एक्स एक्ल्स टू सी ए जिरो इंटू एम प्लस वन के टी उच इज इक्ल्स टू सी ए जिरो प्लस सी आर जिरो के टी ओके ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ग्राफिकली ऑप्टेन the interpretation then it will be like on your x axis you plot time and on y axis you plot x a then you will have this sigmoidal type of uh, curve so here in this particular region there is low rate okay so initially the reaction will be occurring slowly then as the product concentration increases the reaction gets more and more catalyzed so there will be a high rate and while the uh, reactant main reactant that is a is close to depletion or exhaustion again we will see a low rate okay so this is the kind of uh, kinetics we get this is the conversion versus time plot okay now uh, for batch reactors some amount of the product r must be present initially if the reaction has to start at all okay initially obviously we have very small quantity of r and it will proceed slowly the reaction will proceed slowly but as the concentration of r increases we will get high rate like this region over here but again when the reactant a is close to finishing up then the rate will drop again okay if we want to uh, see this in a rate concentration curve then it will be something like let's say we are plotting ca by ca0 on x axis and minus ra or the rate in the y axis then we will have one parabolic curve okay it's it's a very bad looking parabola but uh, never mind the idea is this will be parabolic curve so what happens with progress of time this ca by ca0 varies from 0 to 1 okay and since we are starting with some r present already so uh, we are not exactly starting from zero we have some value of r present and with progress of time we are moving backwards across this axis towards the exact center we have the highest rate okay and that is because at this central point let me denote it by dotted line we have ca equals to cr okay this is the maximum rate that you can reach at right at the center of the parabola for the autocatalytic reaction if you want to plot and test for integral analysis uh, whether your uh, reaction data or experimental data that you have is autocatalytic one or not then you can simply use this expression either of these expressions uh, like either this conversion expression for the kinetics or the uh, concentration expression integrated form for the kinetics you can use either of these to estimate the rate constant how do we do that simply you plot on the x axis time and on the y axis you can plot let's say ln m plus x a by m into 1 minus x a then you will get a straight line whose slope is c0 into k okay instead of uh, the conversion term over here you can also plot 
let me write here ln c a 0 into c r by c a into c r 0. So, these are from those formulations and then you can get the test for the autocatalytic reactions. Uh, there are more extended explan explanations for autocatalytic reactions, but for a basic understanding, this is what you need to remember. That is it. Thank you.